So for some time now, I've been thinking a lot about wanting to build an application. It's something that I've always wanted to do. And it's something that, you know, people I talk to do encourage me to do. But I think as I've spent more time in the industry, even though I've gotten more skills, even though I've gotten more experience working with different technologies, I don't think I've ever felt like I'm at a, I'm at a point where I'd be good enough to do something like this. Finally, I decided to commit to it. And while, you know, I spent some time trying to sound the technologies that I would use, uh, today I actually want to talk about something else. Um, because I saw that while I was focusing on, you know, trying to figure out how to design it, trying to figure out on how to build the application and how to deploy it, I'm starting to realize now that none of this is really that important right now. Because at the end of the day, I know I don't want to build an application for the sake of building an application or just to, you know, get something in my portfolio. I want to build an application because I want to build something that makes a difference, something that positively impacts the people that use it at the end of the day, right? I'm not trying to make the biggest, you know, the next big, the next big thing, the next Facebook, the next Uber, anything like that. I want to make something that serves as a tool for people to be able to improve their lives. And when I sat down and thought about it, I realized that some of the things that I care about most are related to, you know, education or to some extent, you know, career guidance. So I think this is my list that I have so far. And really I'm thinking about something, you know, around education resources, right? Education is super important. I do think that sometimes people don't take advantage of the resources that are around them because sometimes it's just not well known, right? Sometimes there's scholarship opportunities. Sometimes there's, you know, community programs that colleges offer for people with their, you know, their lower income or whatever, whatever their financial situation may be. But I think sometimes when these opportunities become available, to the community it's not always you know it's not very popular news it's not something that's um it's not something that's voiced to the community efficiently so an application related to that that could potentially solve that problem in terms of being able to you know you know find resources for people from you know a single place instead of having to research through them through different websites whether they're government websites or you know community college websites um something i i think i would want to be Something I would want to make too would be something related to either career guidance or, sorry, that's really good, their career guidance or personality types, right? I think for me, one of the one of the biggest changes that happened as I grew into my college career, I changed multiple times. I changed my major multiple times. I, you know, dropped out of college multiple times. I was constantly changing my job. I do feel that while I went in confidently into the things that I wanted to do, I didn't go in there with a clear vision of whether that was a good fit for me or not. And I think that can kind of like make or break someone, especially at a young age, if, you know, they might go into the wrong field of study, feeling that if they don't do good, maybe they, you know, that's when people drop out of college. That's when people, you know, just decide not to go for a higher level education. And again, over time, you know, that can be de detrimental to, you know, that person in the long run, just never feeling like they found the thing that was right for them, right? So I think for me personally, if I had had some tool, something that had helped me get, gain better insight and better vision on what I could do with, you know, my life, my education, something that kind of showed me what was going to be a good fit for me, I think I would have, I think I would have made a big difference in my life. I think another one of the constant problems that people face too is, you know, having the ability to network with professionals, right? And this one kind of goes back with the career growth. I think sometimes when people are trying to find ways to, you know, make a career change, maybe look into a different industry, maybe look into different type of jobs. Sometimes people feel like they're kind of secluded to, you know, maybe they feel like they lack context, maybe Maybe they feel like they lack contacts. Maybe they feel like they don't know anybody that they could talk to in the industry. And I think kind of feeling isolated in that way, that almost puts you in a position where you don't necessarily feel confident in moving forward in a different direction, right? Even I know for me, when I started or when I decided to move into the tech industry, there's a lot of times where I just felt like maybe there was a lot of doubt inside me. Maybe I didn't feel like I was good enough. And also I didn't have many people around me that could, you know, bounce those ideas off of that. I could ask about what their journey in the tech industry was like. So I think some form of application that could maybe, you know, ease that interaction between people that are curious about an industry and people that are willing to reach out and provide feedback or, you know, provide advice in that industry would be, would be really useful. Another one that would be, I mean, useful, but also kind of fun, I think would be like an application that just based on local food trucks, right? 
specifically in San Antonio because I think San Antonio has like a great food truck scene. But I think, I mean, if you've lived if you've lived in in this city, I think you've probably you know it's probably happened to you that you found a food truck you thought it was great, you loved it, but then you know one day out of nowhere it was closed. Maybe that was because they were making enough people. Maybe maybe that was because not enough people were going. They were making enough money. Maybe not enough people knew about it. Maybe they just had a wrong location. But I think it would be helpful to the community because at the end of the day, food trucks are you know they're small businesses and family depend on these for their income. I think it would be I think it would be nice to just have something that focuses solely on yeah the food industry, but more particularly the food trucks in the San Antonio area, right? Or really any small town, right? I think a lot of people that want to go into the food industry but don't have the funds to commit to something like opening up a restaurant do find the food truck to be a good route because it provides, you know, it's mobile, it can I assume they don't have to make as big as an investment as if they want to open up a restaurant and the overhead is probably smaller. So I think something like that would also be beneficial to both the people that, you know, want to sell food and the people that want to eat like me, right? But those are just my ideas at the moment. And the reason why I'm making this video is because, um, like I said, there's been times in the past where people have voiced to me that they have, you know, ideas for apps or something they've always to want to work on. And, but I want to hear what is something that would be, what is something that you're passionate about? What is the problem that you see, you know, around you and your community? What's something that you've always thought, you know, that maybe the solution for it wouldn't be that difficult if there was just an app for it, right? Because that's always the, that's always the go-to thing, right? If only there was an app for solving problem XYZ. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear what you think on these ideas. Like I said, once I sat down and wrote these out on paper, I did see that the common interest in this for me is being able to help people more so whether to more so to reaching either a higher level of education or being able to find the right career for them. And I think that's something I kind of keep going back to. But again, I know there's many problems out that could be solved. And I know that maybe in communicating these with other people and collaborating, um, something even better, like a bigger problem or something more you know, useful could be found. And I would love to hear what those ideas are from you. So I do appreciate you taking time to watch this. I do look forward to your feedback and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.